Hi there, I'm Elizabeth Holmes of the Wall Street Journal, and this is your recap of New York Fashion Week. New York Fashion Week just wrapped up at Lincoln Center, and dozens of designers showed their collections for spring 2013. I went to as many shows as I could, snapping pics for Instagram all along the way, and we're here now with the trend report. First of all, great news for anyone who invested in leather for fall. You can wear those pieces well into spring. Designers took this traditionally heavy material and made it work for warmer weather. Some opted for full leather looks, like this chic peacock blue number from Derek Lamb. BCBG by Max Azria also used leather, but more in accents, around the collar and the pockets. There were also plenty of leather bottoms. Rachel Zoe had some super chic brown leather pants, while Jen Cow made some green leather track pants, giving the material some unexpected ease. Also over at Nicole Miller, there was a classic, some black leather shorts. On the color front, it's all about yellow. Designers use this unexpected hue in a variety of ways, including full looks and separates. Chato Ralph Rucci showed yellow from head to toe, while I really enjoyed Jenny Packham's ladylike gown and Tori Birch's sweet little yellow sweater. At DKNY, Donna Karen paired yellow with khaki and black, giving it a sporty feel. If you're afraid to wear yellow, like I kind of am, don't worry about it. You can ease into it with a yellow skirt, like this slim pencil style from Derek Lamb. And if you want to go all in, I have to recommend this Naeem Khan gown with a beaded bodice. It is nothing short of perfection. This season, designers also stuck to a more expected look of white, but it's all about adding a hint of sheerness, like in this Lacoste shirt dress. You can also try some sexy cutouts, like this Chateau Ralph Rucci top, and I personally love the texture and structure of this Jill Stewart dress. If your office found, try a white suit like this one from Reem Accra. And for any evening occasion, you need to look no further than the parade of creamy hues closing Zach Posen. On the shoe front, all hail the return of the pointy toe. The style was ditched for a few seasons in favor of the stacked round toe pump, but it is back and better than ever. J. Crew showed the shoe in neon green, while Kate Spade had a variety of shades, several with a silver cap toe that I just love. Millie took it one step further with a clear bed, add in an ankle strap, and you've got one sexy shoe. As for beauty, it is time to put those tweezers down. Several of the biggest shows of the week had models sporting super thick brows. Alexander Wang, Takoon, and Marc Jacobs, of course, all asked for their models to have very pale skin, no lipstick, and a really prominent brow. To get this look, you have to give yourself some time to let your eyebrows grow out. And if you just can't wait, try some eyebrow makeup as filler. So there you have it. You've got a few months till spring, so start compiling your shopping list now. For more tips, tricks, and the latest style news, keep it at youtube.com slash WSJ. You can find me on Twitter at eholmeswsj. Sapphire blues, eggplant, all of those tones look really cute, very denim friendly. So it's the perfect bridge when you're, you're using something like black. It connects that black eye pencil to your skin tone. So I'm using it where the black eye pencil intersects with your skin.